this has been a long time coming. Forget where we are, forget I'm on a different hemisphere, a different continent. <laughs> this is so exciting. This has been something I've desired and wanted for two years. If you've been watching my channel, you'll have watched me talk about the need for something like this and it's finally happened, it's finally here. This is a prototype, this is the first in the world and today, if not five minutes ago when I dropped into this mountain in Queenstown, New Zealand, marks the start of a really exciting journey for me, for marine bikes and for just bike consumers in general because this is, this is going to open so many doors for me, it's like a key to unlock so many doors and doors that aren't defined yet because being a prototype being a bike that hasn't been specified, hasn't been finalised, it can run a 29 wheel, it can run a 27 and a half wheel. Right now it's a mullet, it's covered in flip chips, we've got headset cups to change the headset angles. Everything about this bike is up for debate and that's the best bit. I mean the top tube literally says testing for fun. So I know so many of you are watching this and thinking Matt's got a downhill bike, but I haven't. I mean it can be anything. This could be a free ride bike, this could be a park bike, it could be single speed, it could be anything. But the best bit is I've got it here in New Zealand and this arrived on Monday and I wasn't expecting it to come. Marin worked so hard to get this bike to me and we flew to New Zealand on Wednesday morning. So I was at Brink Bike Shop all day on Tuesday building this thing. It was touch and go getting the parts together. But I'm here, I'm at like downhill Mecca where it's winter at home, it's summer here in New Zealand and I get to ride this thing for six days and begin this epic testing phase, this journey with like my ultimate bike sponsor that I've worked with for years and we've done it. This is like not off the shelf. This isn't a bike that's available. It's not out of a catalog. It's so custom, it's all unknown. And I love that. So I'm part of this process. So are other marine athletes and I'm in the best place for it. So I'm gonna be riding this all week. We're gonna be making sick videos. I've got my dirt jump bike too. But I guess to start with, let's do a bike check on this thing. And kind of, it's a new year, isn't it? I haven't made many videos other than the skate park. Just like a sponsorship announcement video too, which we'll get to. So the bike hasn't got a name. The geometry, as I said, is all up for kind of debate, <laughs> but it looks amazing, doesn't it? Looks so good. I mean, the tubing, the color, the paintwork, everything about it is just so cool for me. I love that I've got a bike now with a triple clamp fork, but it can run a single crown fork. I love the big coil. The Olin suspension is the dream for me, but I've got to build a bike now that looks burly. It looks aggressive but it looks really like sleek and playful, doesn't it? Yeah. Especially as a mullet. So it's got a 29 front wheel, a 27 and a half rear wheel. Now, as I didn't know I was gonna have this bike in time, I'm almost falling over here. <laughs> I, uh, I've got enduro wheels on it. So these wheels are off my e-bike. These are the Halo Vortex wheels, okay? So that's an enduro rim. If I was building a downhill bike or a bike for this week, I'd have put the Gravitas rims on, but I couldn't get those in time. These will hold up perfectly, but as a bike check, I need to explain what parts are on here. Now, one of the announcements you must see is the tires. That's a change, isn't it, for this year? Goodyear tires, that's a really exciting partnership for me, and I'm buzzing to announce it because many of you might know this, but I'm sure most of you don't. Most mountain bike tire manufacturers don't actually build their own tires. They don't have their own factories. They outsource it, okay? Goodyear is one of the few brands that does have their own factories. That enables them to be able to de develop, design and create tires really quickly. And that's the best thing about this partnership for me because I'm gonna be designing my own range of tires with the brand and I'm gonna go out to the factory to create them and test them for the first time. So we're talking about this kind of big burly marine bike testing, but I'm also gonna be doing that very process with Goodyear tires and that's sick, isn't it? That process would take so long with most brands, but these ones are the Newton, again, enduro tires. When I get home, I'll put downhill tires on this for a bit more sidewall protection, but I love them. I've ridden them for about four minutes and I already think they're great. Ben's got a bike here. This is the Rift Zone, the Marin's Rift Zone bike, 29er. He's got the same. The XR. Newton, same Newton tires on that. So moving on, like I said, I've got an Olin's 38 M1 fork, an amazing coil shock in the back, an Olin's one. We've done rims, we've done tires. I've got Shimano build kit on it, okay? So Shimano XT brakes with four pot pistons. 203 mil rotors front and rear, so the big XTR rotors. There they are. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Really cool. They look sick, they look racy. Then I've got gusset components. So a gusset direct mount stem, gusset S2 handlebar, which are just black, anodized logos. They look amazing. I've got them cut down to 770 mil, which for me is really wide. I had a debate at Brink. Everyone was saying that that's actually not wide. And I said, it's horrendously wide. I wanted 750. They said, Matt, it's like the biggest, gnarliest bike you've built in years. <laughs> just accept that you need wide bars. So I haven't punched a tree yet, but I've only been here an hour. Um, <laughs> 
they're cool. And then I've got these Gusset S2 grips, okay? So these are brand new, they actually launched today, which is super sick. The S2 grip in my signature colorway, which is this swirl effect, okay? It matches the dirt jump saddle, the S2 DJ saddle I launched a few months ago for my dirt jump bike. But the other thing that, that drops today, other than the lock-on grip, is the S2 AM saddle in my signature colorway. So it's got my signature on it. The swirl runs through the gusset logo. It's got those grip pads on it for when you're riding in the rain. It's an awesome saddle. And now the signature color comes in AM saddle, dirt jump saddle, lock-on grips, and on my dirt jump, non-lock-on, like the standard side-on grips. And I really prefer the white end cap logo. It looks better than black. I'm mad into oh, it. Oh, that's really nice. And then Shimano XT cranks in 165 mil crank arms. Gusset Slim Jim CNC pedals. Then I've got an absolute black 32 tooth oval chain ring, 32 small for a downhill bike. Then the guys at Brink in a mad rush got me a Z cassette, which is downhill. And then I've got a seven speed tiny ratio cassette, which looks really downhill. Ben, that'll be new to you, but that's like what you do that looks weird. on bikes where you're just charging, hitting jumps and not know. ever pedaling up hills. I wouldn't know what that feels like. But I put the dirt jump saddle on it because I think it looks quite parky. And I'm not a downhill racer and I want to enjoy this bike on the big jumps here in New Zealand, like Dream Track. That makes it look more what I want it to look like this week. So that's kind of a bit of a bike check. Have I missed anything significant? Is that everything, full house? Helmet's new though. Oh yeah, it is. So I'm actually riding for Troy Lee Design this year, which is incredible. That is, oh, I've used the expression before with Park Tool Tools, the Rolls Royce of. But Troy Lee is the holy grail of mountain bike protection. That's for me, the OG brand, the coolest one ever. I always wanted to ride for them. I didn't always get the opportunity. Now I get to. This is the D4 full face. It's so sexy. I know what it is. An image design custom just made it, brought it to life with the Red Bull paint job, you know? What is it, Ben? It's the Airbus A380 right, it's of stealth, helmets. It's more stealth than that. It's the Apache helicopter of helmets. Okay, ben. that's way better. Yeah? Yeah. I was just thinking commercial flights, that's all. Oh, true. Yeah, that's all we know about. Um, <laughs> you might think I look really tired. I'm confused with my bike check. I am. I've been desperate to film it, but we haven't been to bed for 50 hours. We left on Tuesday night slash Wednesday morning. Wasn't yeah. It? Now it's now 4 Friday. A.m. It's now Friday afternoon. It's been rough. So confusing. I can't. <laughs> but we need to stay up all day, so we've come up here to film a bike check. This is really. It's like such a cool thing. If I'd got a bike out of the box, which had been developed, designed already. I'd be able to talk about it, but I kind of like that there's not much to say because I, well, I need to ride it. Yeah, I mean, everyone's going to be curious as to what it is, but you can see it now. I kind of teased it the other day. You'll see other Marin athletes getting these bikes in the next few weeks. But I'm here in Queenstown, I'm just going to ride it and we're going to enjoy it. The cable routing's really fancy on it. it comes out of the chainstay, out of the swing arm and in there, look, which is so clean. So you can almost not see the cables anywhere and I like that. Wow. It's gorgeous. This bike's gorgeous. And actually, that is too. And it's it so it. cool. The back, brand new Rifty bends on. Very different bike to that one. You can pedal up hills. <laughs> but yeah, I've not even really talked about this bike. We've just been building skate parks. So you can see what the weather's like here. It's about 22 degrees. It's mega. There's massive jumps. I'm going to leave the video there because the next videos will be arguably more exciting. But there's the news. You now understand the ordeal I've got ahead of me to <laughs> fine tune that bike, but it's going to be probably the best journey I've ever been on in bikes anyway. Enjoy it. Well, enjoy the next few days. We're going to enjoy bed. Legends. <laughs>